What's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room haul video and first and foremost I hope all of you had a very happy and safe Thanksgiving. I haven't made any videos uh, since Thanksgiving so happy late Thanksgiving to everybody but of course like we do every year I want to go over my Black Friday haul from 2020. Now Black Friday was very different this year to say the least. Um, most stores had sales going on basically like all week of Black Friday, all month of Black Friday. Every store had all these different deals going on and I really didn't plan to pick up much this year because there honestly really wasn't anything in the ads that really, I don't know, nothing really interesting, nothing that I really needed. Most of the stuff that was on sale I've already purchased uh, previously so uh, yeah there just wasn't much I was going to get Black Friday but I still got a couple of stuff. Uh, but this is easily the least amount of things I've ever gotten on a Black Friday, but yet the most amount of money that I've ever spent. And you guys will see why at the end of the video. Make sure you stay tuned for it because I made my biggest, uh, not only biggest Black Friday purchase, but just one of my biggest purchases, most expensive purchases of all time, which is absolutely crazy. But let's go ahead and get into some of the cheaper things and I'll give the price and the deal that I got for all of these things. So we're going to start with a uh, very simple a board game or I guess I should say a card game and that is that's what she said. Now I saw this on sale at Target. Some of you may know that I do work at Target. I saw this on sale. Uh, I've been seeing this game for a little while now and I've been interested in it. It's kind of like uh, Cards Against Humanity but with like that's what she said type of references. Um, so normal price for this is $25. It was on sale for Black Friday or the week of Black Friday at Target for like $12.50 I want to say. So at that price I definitely had to pick this up. Looks like a fun game. I haven't played it yet um, but when I do, maybe I'll give a review if you guys are interested on that's what she said. So put that to the side. And now we'll get into the video games. So uh, the games that I picked up uh, are, where are they? They're down here. So uh, this wasn't necessarily on Black Friday, but this was a pre-Black Friday deal at Target. And this was the week that the PS5 came out, so November 12th. Uh, I picked these up actually November 13th because it was the day after the PS5 came out. Um, and that is NBA 2K21 and Call of Duty uh, Black Ops Cold War, not Modern Warfare, Black Ops Cold War. So the deal was you buy two games, you get one free. So I bought these two and unfortunately these were the only two PS5 games that they had at my target. So I, I really wanted to pick up a third PS5 game because I would have got a PS5 game for free which would have been amazing but unfortunately uh, they didn't have any other PS5 games in stock at the moment. Uh, so I settled for Crash 4. I've heard nothing but great things about this. Of course it is a PS4 game but I can't play it on the PS5. So I bought these two games and I got this one for free which is still a really really good deal in my opinion. Uh, so that is that. I'm going to put that to the side. And then they also had uh, on Black Friday or the week of Black Friday, uh, the Ghost of Tsushima. I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, this was on sale for $40. This is a pretty new game and it's got amazing, amazing reviews. Uh, so for $40, you know, it, normal price is $60. I definitely had to check it out. Can't wait to get into this as well once I'm done playing my PS5 games. Uh, and again, I can play this on my PS5. So Ghost of Tsushima. $40 and this was again at Target uh, so that is a good deal right there and then uh, another thing I got from Target because I work there and that's where I get all my stuff now um, they also had on Black Friday by or the week of Black Friday I'm sorry most of these deals I got pre Black Friday um, but they had buy two get one free on Blu-rays DVDs things like that and uh, these are the ones that I picked up so I got How the Grinch Stole Christmas the animated edition and this has like a special shiny like sparkly cover which is pretty cool and then I got How the Grinch Stole Christmas the live action version and I also got Home Alone 2 but I think I already packed it up in a box in the garage I didn't pack these up because I'm in the middle of watching it since it is Christmas time um, but Home Alone 2 I picked up as well uh, just because I have Home Alone 1 already I didn't already have Home Alone 2 and there wasn't any other Blu-rays that were part of this deal that I didn't already own so I settled for Home Alone 2 I think it's in the garage but uh, I completely dropped that but anyways um yeah so Grinch uh, live action cartoon and um, Home Alone 2 on Blu-ray so um, that was a good deal I think the total for all three was 14 I think it was like seven and seven for these so really really good deal there and then um, I got a GoPro Hero 7 Silver and here is the actual 
GoPro right here. So I just picked this up last night and I'll get into the reason and why I picked it up and how I picked it up and how much I paid for this because I only paid really $30 for this and that leads me into my next story. So I have been looking at TVs lately just out of interest to see if there was any good Black Friday deals. Now the TV I already had was a 55 inch 4K 120 hertz Samsung TV that I got uh, two years ago for Black Friday and that is it's a really great TV I've had no issues with it I've been interested in upgrading to like an OLED TV or something fancy and super expensive the problem is OLEDs are really expensive we're talking like one thousand to two three four thousand dollars so I decided you know I'm gonna hold off for now because my TV is still a really good TV that I have right now it, it, it was just like an LED TV it wasn't OLED or anything but it's still really good the picture quality was great all right cool so I decided I'll probably save up some of my money this year and then next year for Black Friday I'll see if I can get a good OLED on sale. Well I went to work Black Friday, I was playing PS5 before work, my TV was working fine. I came home, turned my TV on and all of a sudden it was just, it, it died on me. I have this big black bar going through the middle of the screen, like some of the pixels died in the screen or something, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll show you guys some b-roll of what it looks like right now, but my TV died on me. so. That left me with the predicament. Do I just get another cheap 4K TV that like you know three, four, five hundred dollars, or do I just decide to shell out the money now for an OLED since I'm gonna go get an OLED next year or the year after? So I decided uh, to spend the money now. It just made more sense instead of buying a TV now and then buying another TV in a year or two years. I just went and dropped the money on the OLED now and I switched over to Sony uh, because when I was at Brandsmart and they had all the TVs on display, the Sony ones just seemed to have the best picture in my personal opinion. Not to say any of the others were bad, I just felt like Sony for me just looked the best. So I went with the Sony A8H which is extremely hard to say, I don't know why they named it that, but the Sony A8H 4K OLED fancy like HDR all that stuff. And it is an amazing TV. Now it's still the same 55 inch size TV and it was it was fifteen hundred dollars, sixteen hundred dollars after taxes. Now that is a lot of money to spend on a TV and uh, while I hated doing it, I absolutely love the TV. It is beautiful, it is a noticeable upgrade. I don't know if you guys can really tell me showing you on camera right now how vibrant and how crisp and how black the blacks actually look but it is a great, great looking TV. Now the original price of this TV, I think it was around $2,000, so I got a pretty good deal on it at $1,500, and I got a free $150 gift card from Brandsmart. So I used that gift card in turn to get the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Silver. Now while this isn't the top of the line or fanciest GoPro, and this one is two years old because we're on the GoPro 9 right now, uh, it's definitely good for what I need to do just random vlogs or whatever when I'm out and about. It's not gonna be my main camera or anything like that. Now that is normally $200 the GoPro is, and it was on sale for $169 I believe. And then I used my $150 gift card and after taxes and everything, I only ended up paying, I believe it was like $31 out of pocket for the GoPro. So uh, not a bad deal on the GoPro. Um, but yeah, I, I spent way more than I planned to spend on this TV, but it, it is absolutely amazing. I really didn't plan on buying anything on Black Friday. And here I am with a $1,500 TV that uh, I'll be paying off for a couple months. But um, yeah, the TV is just fantastic. Picture quality is amazing. Uh, man, it is it is phenomenal. I highly recommend if you can get an OLED TV, definitely do it. And the the reason I ended up actually choosing the OLED, uh, I was looking at a Sony LED TV, which looked just as good, but it was an OLED. The Sony LED TV was about $1,100. So for an extra, what, $400, I can get an OLED TV. I mean, the, that was just a steal, and I think anybody would have made that decision, because getting OLED over LED, you really can't go wrong there. So that is my haul for Black Friday, my most expensive Black Friday haul ever. And while I am probably going to regret it, who are we kidding? Look at all the stuff I have in my room. I'm not gonna regret it. I, I don't like spending that much money because uh, it's just a lot of money, especially for something like a TV. But um, 
the PS5 looks glorious on that OLED TV. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Let me know down in the comments below what did you guys pick up for Black Friday. I'm interested in to know uh, what you guys picked up. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. So as always, guys, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you guys next time.